So I'm gonna be like this. Oh. <laughs> Whatever I've got hurt, even. Leverage. I don't care. This guy is trying to hurt me. <laughs> it's nasty. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Street Fact Survival. And once again, I have the good graces of being able to access Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, inhales Owen, and today. We're not bringing back the professor. No, no, no. Instead, we are bringing back a blast from the past. It is Mr. Yusuf, the coach. <laughs> Worst introduction ever. Get on the camera. Sorry, I'm a bit shy. <laughs> if you have not seen Yusuf before, we have actually done a few videos from a couple of years ago. We were doing them when I was training at Predators with you. We're rolling. Bang, bang, good. Are we rocking, are we rolling? Under the hook and then the hook and then the hook and Good, come under. Bang, bang, good. <laughs> you sniff yourself. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> One of the things though that you need to know is Yusuf is a fantastic coach. He's brilliant at breaking down maneuvers. But today we're going to be taking use of Yusuf's tactical teaching techniques because we're going to be taking a look at one shot stops. One shot stops? What? No, one shot stops. Right, we're gonna one shot stops. Not one shot stops. One shot stops. Yeah, not one shot stops, one shot stops. One so shot we're not stops. going to the shop? Not to the shop. Right. Yeah, one shot stops. Okay. We got it, I think. I think so. we got it. Yeah, yeah. And they're all in under. Under hooking under the pin under the hooking under the one. Side jokes. So one stop shots are basically an emergency tactic that we're going to use to stop a dangerous situation. They're one offs. It's going to keep you safe or those around you. It's basically putting an end to an aggressive situation in a single moment. That's exactly right. So in this video, there is no break and escape. There's, there's only a break and batter, isn't there? Yes, there is. You better enjoy this. So we're going to take a look at some stand up mm -hmm. where we're going to just people invading his face mm -hmm. and we're taking a look at when people rush you. Yep. I don't know people don't know how to fight, do they? Exactly. So, so this is going to be something anyone can do. Anybody can do. Anybody can you know, do. It's simple, but effective. That's what we're looking for. Let's crack on. So first up, in our arsenal of weapons, we're going to be taking a look at... Short, sharp, elbow. So, as always, bad guy, hero. <laughs> I've got to stop wearing black. I need to stop being a good guy. You know I've got an intent. I'm invading your bubble. I'm the hubba bubba man. At this point, what are we doing? First off, two things in one movement. My hand and my foot. So my foot's going out to get my base and my hand is coming out to get my awareness of getting, where the guy is going to be. Off that centre line. We've talked about this before. Getting off that centre line. Never want to be squared up. They were saying earlier about people squaring up. Stupidest thing you can do. Yep. If anyone squares up to you, straight away, back leg comes out and off to the side and that automatically makes you one, a smaller target, mm -hmm. two, gives you all your leverage of where you need to throw that exactly. power from, through the hips, transferring that weight from front to back and back to front. Chill out dude, what, what, yeah. what's wrong, what's up? And he doesn't listen, clearly, because he's stepping forward even more. As soon as he steps in even more and I'm, my hand is making contact with his body, this is the trigger for me, okay? I'm gonna elbow the guy with this hand right here that I'm touching him with. So I'm gonna be like this. Oh. It's nasty. You can see I'm stepping in. As you step in, I'm gonna put my foot, my lead foot. It's gonna step just six inches. Doesn't even have to, but it, just to get that angle, dominant angle, yeah. it's better off. But you don't have to, because things see. happen so fast. So here, foot step, oh. boom, boom, step in. Now, if this doesn't stop me here, because he stepped off there, he's now set up a perfect angle. I'm facing this way. All my power and all my energy is this way. He has got a clean, straight right shot, boom, to really finish that. Or, yeah, if you've got the dexterity, kicks, knees, whatever, it's there. Chances are, though, if you land this, they're not coming back for more. Good night. <laughs> they're not coming back for more. We're coming in, the hand goes out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, chill, chill. This is important as well. Defensive hand. Exactly. It looks like you're defusing. Whoa, don't want any trouble. What it actually is, is defense. Just in case. So you are guarded on your right-hand side, which is going to stop. Whoa. Even if I do get a shot in, it's blocked. But the moment you see me step forward, even loading there, bang, I'm stepping in. Off. Beautiful, really short, really easy. You know what it's time for, don't you? You look so happy, why? <laughs> you can start smiling. As always on this series that I devised of my own doing, we like to show you things in real time so you can see how effective they are, so. 
wonder how that feels against the cheek. 40%? 40? 40. 45. Ugh. No, I might look at you. I think you're a fat ass with your little stance, mate. You look more like a footballer, sunshine. I'm in trouble, Carl. What are you answer for? I'm just wondering what you're going to answer for. I'm in trouble. <laughs> So the going away present, this is a devastating left hook shot. So again, same thing, aggressive guys coming at you, what are we doing? First off the bat, I'm going to reach my hand out to get that distance, to get that awareness of where my opponent is. Just that range line. Yeah, so what's Ooh, up? Chain. Hand up again, just in case. From here, the next phase I'm going to do is I'm going to back this hand away, just to, you'll see in a minute why. So I'm going from here, I know he's stepping forward towards yeah. me now. I said, whoa, 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 I'm going to be even more like, like he thinks I'm scared right now. I'm okay, I'm easy. From here, I'm going to boom, hit him with that left up. I'm stepping to the outside of Lex, of my opponent. As I'm stepping though, I'm punching. I'm going to make sure I land this punch as that foot. It's the man. As always guys, you know this is coming, so you wait for that moment when it's necessary. It's my hands are here, so he's looking up here, he's not paying attention to my feet. So, ooh, I don't want any trouble. Bang! And then it's there. A lot of time, especially if they're coming in at you, you're going to get their weight coming in onto that punch at the same time. But, as always, because he stepped off, he's thrown that left hook. Boom, even if it's rocked me, look where he is again. Once again, that finishing position, because you're off that centre line, as we say so many times. Keep yourself off that centre line and you'll maximise your ability to stay safe. One more thing as well before we do go into anything else. How this lands onto the face. Very true. Let's go closer. So as you can see, Lex's beautiful face, luscious hair, <laughs> ignore it. What's going to make us miss less? Mm. Now most people are going to try and aim for the edge of the jaw here because that's what we see in the movies. Exactly. No, 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 no. The bet we want to do is disrupt his Disrupt, disrupt his <laughs> equilibrium, which is behind the ear, yeah? So even if you don't land to the jaw or to the temple, if you get to the ear, you have three spots right here. Now, if you don't get one, you're gonna get, you're gonna get the other. So don't aim to the chin, aim as close as you can to the ear, because it's gonna happen so, so fast, and you're gonna have split seconds. I'd rather give you three targets than one. Do you, do you, do you get what I mean? Yep. I get what I mean, don't I? Yeah, you get what I mean. I'm gonna go, boom, I'm gonna aim right there. The next one, boom, if I miss, I'm gonna get on top of the head. Or another one, boom, boom I'm gonna the back, of the, back of the ear. So I give you three places to aim, not just one. So it's gonna be more. only doing this once. I don't care which one you hit, only God doing it once. Is that turtle tattoo you got on your arm there, mate? Why are you a bit of a woofter? Huh? A bit of a woofter. No one takes a colour tattoo, he's like, I've got a lot of I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man! Oh! What's next? <laughs> someone with a bit more anger, someone who wants to actually physically hit you. So, next up is fighting off a punch. Fighting off a punch. So to know most street fights, a lot of time, it's not clean, it's a scrap. There are times when punches are going to come your way and we need to know how to react to them. We have shown you these in some previous videos, so make sure to check those out, uh, where we're showing you the defensive guard, the standard styles, something a little bit different in some. So, where are we at? So, the conventional way you get taught is keep a hard block, right? Let it come to you. Tuck the hat and brush the hair. Brush the hair, exactly. Yeah. Well, another method um, I like is Instead of letting them come to you, why don't I go halfway, which takes the power off the shot that they deliver. Especially in a street fight when you see these things winging in. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Territory. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Lex is, let's say Lex is going to throw that punch right now. So if he's going to throw the bat over and right, I'm going boom. I'm going wide. I can see it coming from a mile away. And the important thing is that I'm blocking it with my elbow. It's going to hit the elbow, hit the forearm. And I'm telling you, Lex has felt it. Yeah, this sucks. When he swings, it hurts. Because I'm looking at him here, and if that's suddenly getting stopped there, bone. and I'm hitting bone on bone, forearm to forearm, that is akin nearly to shin on shin sometimes. Mm, if exactly. you catch that right, there's a lot of tendons in there to get messed up. It can really do, do a nice short, sharp shot, which is what we need. Because once that comes in, and you block. As soon as I'm there, his face is just looking. 
just this to get a beautiful shot in the face. <laughs> so from here, I'm blocking straight away and I'm going to fire that right across. Right, straight down the pipe. Straight down the chain, straight down the nose, make him look pretty, you know? <laughs> Once again, what you are not looking to do is clip them on the bottom of the chin or get the perfect knockout. What we're looking to hit is somewhere in this region, from the throat up to underneath the nose. As long as you hit somewhere in there, I guarantee it's going to put a stutter in this step. Another great thing about this is, if I had a bottle or some kind of weapon in my hand, this is the defensive move you need to use against it. Mm. Because if you just cut behind your head and I had a bottle, I'm still smashing that over you, exactly. which could cut you, lacerate your arms or anything like that. Whereas, bottle in my hand, I come in, boom, you're stopping that halfway. Now we're removing that danger of impact from the implement in my hand. So another great one for if they have a weapon. See the punch come in, blocks it, down the pipe. Boom. Convention. I, I, I don't think, I don't think they need to see that in real time. I think that's relatively self-explanatory. Uh, I think, what? Well, you do, but I think they just answer. I think they do. He's supposed to be my loyal supporters. Thanks, guys. In real time, so you, evil human beings, can see what it looks like. <laughs> you remind me of my son, sunshine. Good looking lad. No, it's a bit thinking of actually being in top trucks last night, and I'm a little bit peeved about it. Don't be like that. Don't be like what? I will. <laughs> No more striking to the face, just striking to the balls. A few ladies might watch this. Some other people who just like smashing balls might also watch this. If that's the case. <laughs> Where are we at? Same theory, same thing, the punch has come, you're blocked Boom. here. I'm getting my stance, priority. Priority number two, I'm blocking the shot. I'm not letting it smash me in the head. From here, like Lex like said, we have, might have women who don't want to punch with the hand. So other options we have is the nutsack. We're going to knee the opponent right in the nutsack. And which knee are we going to do? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to use the knee that is further away from the opponent. Why? Well, because it delivers more power to that region. <laughs> <laughs> so one more time, I'm blocking for reinsurance and behind the oh and straight in the nut side so oh, whoa whoa block that punch off centre line boom line. so you're grabbing I'm grabbing your trap I'm grabbing some kind of shirt jumper whatever I can have whatever I've got hurt even some leverage I don't care this guy is trying to hurt me I'm grabbing something and pulling it into the shot to make it even harder it's what you need to do it's true and to drive the knees through you can't you're not just coming up that will work, mm. but ideally what I want to do is drive your hips through. So you're going to pull and push those, bang, yes. hips right through. That's the one. And that's what's going to really help drive it in and down. Even if you miss the balls and hit this lower ab oh, region, you hit that with weight, that's going to put somebody down too. So again, we're, we're looking for, aim a little higher rather than lower, because it's going to suck either way. Yeah, it's going to hurt. I feel sorry for the breaking batter. No, I'm lying, I don't feel sorry <laughs> for the breaking batter. So you know what time it is, don't you? About to find out because they need to see it in real time. Your face, my eyes. Oh, you got just the left one. Tom Postal. Oh, walk it up. Walk it Jump. Packing the balls and leave. <laughs> 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 okay. Stop trying to stop trying to win me back over. I didn't see that. With your lovely me. jokes. Not gonna win me back over with it. But what we do need to do is show people how to deal with maybe a bully rush. The yes. standard, the Ready. classic. Mm. The one where it always usually ends up in that scrap point yes. anyway, where somebody's come in, it's all got a bit leery and I've ended up grabbing it around your waist or bull rushing in at you. Yeah, you see that all the time. Don't all you? the time. What's our technique when we're going to use next? Well, let me just have a look in my pocket. What have I got in there? Um, oh, I've got a good one. Right, okay. 
Stop pulling me in! <laughs> Let's do the conventional rush. What's it looking like? Well, someone's like they're just they're maybe throwing it through on a big lazy and you're like, what's what's going just on? Gone. Boom, He's locking onto you. My first priority right now is apart from getting my hips away from th this way, away from him, I've got a little nasty trick. What I do is I, I bring my hips into him and then I go away. But whoa, God of a mother that's oh, I'm ready for that. Ooh, that puts a lot of pressure on your shoulder, it man. It does, it does, it's nasty. It's actually counterintuitive. Counterintuitive yeah, because you're not supposed to go towards him. But oh. what you do is because, it's, because you're going pull, pull. It's almost like you had um, one of the teachers about like a clinch. The double, double tap clinch, the clinch. Yeah. exactly the same. We talked this before. If somebody's struggling with a clinch and they're really strong and you can't pull them down, it's called a double tap. So you pull, release, then that makes them think they're pulling away and then snap oh. back down. And it will work on the biggest of human beings. I've come in, yeah. or we've been, been scuffing, yeah. wrestling, whoa, 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 and then whoa. I've come there. So he's seen it coming, and as I get to here, I go boom, boom, oh, Jesus Christ, that cracked my neck. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you just decide to just do that, that's a shock stopper. But we're dealing with an aggressive individual here, yes. someone who's not stopping. So once I've come in there, what you're actually going to do is maintain control. The hip hops, what's going to, it's going to give me that mm. moment of sharp, sharp, sharp. So here, my hips forward, my hips back. back, I'm being nasty. Guess what? He's quite strong, right? He's not let go. He wants to fucking keep that yeah. grip on you. Fine, no worries, pal. This hand goes underneath, that's going underneath his armpit, right? Very important. This connects to the hand, to my forearm, that this hand, my right hand, has got back of his head. So I've got two controls. I've got head control, and this hand is going underneath, and it's connecting as a frame. It's looking like this. That's what it's looking like. Yeah. Yeah? This is known as the wizard. It's known as the, the wizard. So if he was just here, what he does is he comes underneath the oh. armpit. And what he can do from that is if he puts his body weight forward, and rolls his shoulder forward, that is putting a huge amount of stress on me here. Because from there, he can literally control. I should have the, Wonder technically, up. I should have the advantage here. Yep. So this is a way of getting your advantage back from what is essentially a weaker uh, situation for you to be in. I'm gonna keep, leave this arm alone for now so you can see, but imagine this has come around and gripped here. So I've come oh, in there, I grab grabbed that, he oh, boom, boom. So he's cleared his hips, and now he's safe. So you need the double pop to clear the hips. And now, even if I try my strongest, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and rush yeah, it. Yeah, go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And you're just I'm not even, bro, bro, I'm not even, I'm, I'm not, I'm using no strength whatsoever. It's just I'm straight just, mechanics. I'm just looking at my own balls. <laughs> They're very sore. I regret so from my here, choice. I regret my choice boom. already. Oh, straight away, it's right there. It's yeah, so you can see that leg scout here. Just look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. And there's nothing I can do about that. But that, that right. lock on the head, I'm going nowhere. I'm basically just, Sitting target. Exactly. Yeah, will it work in real life? Mm, 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 mm. Let's have a look at it in real time. Are you ready? In real time, so you guys can see it. It's so good to you, fans. It's good to you. It is. Pay my hospital bill. <laughs> Stand that one then, judo and jitsu guys. Yeah, what are we going to do? It's a bit of that crazy old way. I'm a bit quick, aren't you? A bit like that. Yeah, fucking come on, man. Come on, tough man. Yeah, oh! What the? Ah! Ah! Yep. Ah! Oh, dear. I'm really sorry. You are not even a bit sorry. Okay, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's never bad being the hero. No, true. A big begrudging thank you. No worries. Thank to you, Yusuf. Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir, for uh, displaying your heroic tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which area is going to bruise up worse. I genuinely think the block of that punch is lethal, isn't it? Is it honestly going to be the most bad? Because you suppose you're used to getting smacked everywhere else if you do sparring and stuff, but that sucks. Delicate area. On its own, yeah. and then followed up with the lovelies afterwards. It was just tip top. <laughs> <laughs> Practice him on a bag, heavy bag. Heavy bag, you can go with a partner. Just a you can do it yourself towards a mirror. But as we always say, don't try it on your nan. <laughs> Definitely don't try it on your nan. <laughs> or your granddad. <laughs> Unless your nan's attacking you, obviously, in which case, still She's don't try it on your nan. <laughs> you were gonna do the nan! You were gonna do the nan! <laughs> on that note, we'll catch you next episode. We're out. <laughs> La cool.